Hi everyone, uh, we have Mr. Hans, uh, Ambassador of Norway to India. Welcome Mr. Hans to Bihar Museum and Bihar Museum Binale. Sir, how are you liking the exhibition here? Now I have to con uh, congratulate Bihar with this fantastic Biennale. I, I, I really appreciate it. There's so many pieces that I, I really love to stop and examine and look at for a long time. And the whole setting with the museum is, uh, is fascinating. So this is really a place to go to. Uh, the theme of uh, this time in Alice is Together We Are, then G20 exhibitions, right? So what are your thoughts on that? The kind of uh, displays that we have together, we are. What are your thoughts on that? What I found in particular here is the multitude of expressions as art tends to become more, more and more diverse. But also, if you look into the historic part of the, of the museum, with a very traditional a art forms, the popular tribal art forms, which would, are able to maintain a tradition over a long time, where we have set rules that makes that you, you know what style it is, but you're able to actually tweak in a different direction. And then compared with what we see here, where, I, where artists are, uh, are uh, really freely express their, 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 their thoughts and emotions. What would you say about the art in Norway and art in India? How they are different, how they are interconnected at the same time? It's clear. Do you think is there a connection between the arts here and there? Well, there, are, there are, are several connections, but at the same time, these are very much on the individual level. For instance, uh, one of uh, India's foremost uh, non-figurative artist, Amdabas, uh, passed uh, very much a part of his life in Norway and, uh, and had a very good creative period there. But we also see that Indian art is an, uh, is it very rooted in Indian culture, religion and traditions, which makes that it is different even though that the methods become more and more, more the, the, the same worldwide. The artists are using the, the same uh, techniques, but still you see very often that they, they come from different backgrounds. So that's fascinating. Just a topic other than the uh, art museum. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of students who go and study in Norway because it's known for its higher studies as well. Yeah. It's such a peaceful and rich country. So uh, there are many students in Bihar who wish to study uh, yeah. further in Norway. So do you have any recommendations for them? How should they choose a college? They are very brief and what they should expect in a yeah. country like Norway. Yeah. Well, it is uh, always depending on your interests and uh, your uh, and your abilities. Norway has, of course, because of our uh, geographic uh, position and expertise in some areas, which some other are quite exotic. Uh, uh, polar research, for instance, uh, where which uh, the University of Tromsø is dominant. But also, you think that you find everywhere, like you know, energy, and particularly if you want to, uh, to hydroelectrical power, Norway is the place to go. We see that uh, Indian students, uh, at a certain point of time, filled up 50% of the PhD uh, students in cybersecurity. And so, uh, uh, they are very much linked to what is particular for Norway, and then we'll come to back and to all. Uh, I think that has to do with oceans, fisheries, shipbuilding, shipping, uh, and, and so on. Okay, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you so much.